WWRR, Scranton, Wilkes-Barre, WMMZ, Berwick, Bloomsburg, Hazleton, WYCK, Plains. Powered by Mohegan Sun Poeno. The River, 105 and 1035. This is music on the menu on the river. Featuring Northeast PA's best artists. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Never mind. She can move me like the stereo, like a song on the radio. She's an angel in the morning, yeah, that's me. And now, here's your host, Alan K. Stout. So I got that going for me, which is nice. All right, everybody. Happy Sunday night. Welcome to Music on the Menu on the River. Alan K. Stout, as I always am, Sunday nights, 9 to 10 o'clock, bringing you regional artists doing their own original material from right here in northeastern Pennsylvania. Hanging out with the one, the only, the iconic, the legendary, <laughs> the mythical, D.C. Taylor. It's a myth. <laughs> Hi, Alan. How are you? <laughs> Great intro. Thank you for that. I'm doing just fine, We're man. Happy, happy to be here. <laughs> Every Sunday night. We love it. Love it here. We have a good time here yeah. on this show. Mm -hmm. And uh, DC is a big part of this show. I mean, um, yeah. I'm I was here. talking to some people about it recently. This show's changed uh, over the last couple of years since we've been doing it together. Yeah. I think I was a little more, uh, I don't know, streamlined. In uh -huh. the past, you know, right. here's the song, here's the band, they're from Scranton, this is the new record, boom, boom, boom. You right. Know, banter a little bit here, have some fun, and, banter, banter. you know, uh, I enjoy it. Yeah, so do I. So this do I like artist it. is fabulous. Shannon Marciata, she's from uh, Hazleton, and I mean, I'm such a fan of Shannon. She she did a couple of the live shows for us at uh, Breakers over mm -hmm. the years, Music on the Menu Live. Mm -hmm. um, she's got a couple of good albums. She really focuses her energy on the songwriting side of her mm -hmm. music. Yep. You know, she shops her songs. She, she, she's looking for, you know, she has relationships with some publishers. She, she, I mean, I think I've said it on the show here probably 10 times over the years. She'd be more than happy to just be a Diane Warren uh -huh. type yep. artist. And hey, here's my song. Have other people record it. Have other hers. people record it. Yep. Because she's, she's a mom and she's got a busy life. Yeah. But she's good. I yeah. mean, she's a wonderful performer and she has an incredible voice. And so... I could still see things going either way for Shannon. I could see, you know, some some big acts taking some of these songs someday and doing something with them. Or I could see still something happening with her herself yep. uh, because she's got it all going on. This one's called The Message. Could have swore I heard an angel whisper in my ear He promised everything would come together as long as I've no fear at that very moment, the sun began to shine. And streams of light came bursting through the grayness of my skies.
shoulders mm, Feel like my father's arms holding me mm, And I knew then that that message mm, Was one I'm needing to Bob Lewis here on Music on the Menu on the River with a song called All My Sins. And before that, Shannon Marciata with a song called The Message. Bob's a very talented musician from northeastern Pennsylvania. He relocated to Nashville uh, I was about two years ago now, doing some stuff down there. I think he was uh, getting together with Mike Miz, who was also spending some time in Nashville lately and working on some music together. Bob's just a, a great talent. I'm going to play one for you now from a band from Lehigh Valley. They're called Another Day Dawns, and they're managed um, by a guy named John Phillips. A lot of people know him as Guido. That's his nickname. He did uh, some work on the road with Breaking Benjamin. He was uh, Ben's road manager. He also played in some good bands over the years. Or After was a great band. He was in UUU, a great cover band for a long time. John's really all about local music and getting involved. And um, he's always been that way for a long time. He's very excited about this project that he's working on. This is called Psycho.
Hey, this is Steven from Black Tie Stereo. You're listening to Music on the Menu with Alan K. Stout on The River. I've always kept myself protected But it seems like you're an exception And it's been kind of hard to mention That I get lost in your affection I can't hold Black Tie Stereo here on Music on the Menu on the River with a new song called Somebody Like You. We've been playing that one for a couple weeks now on the show. Those guys did really well with that uh, GoFundMe Kickstarter campaign they had where they're trying to raise some money to go out to Chicago and, mm-hmm. and record. Fans really got behind it, which was really cool to see. Before that, new music from Another Day Dawn, a song called Psycho. Again, they're from Lehigh Valley area. We don't play too many bands from the Allentown area. We're mostly Scranton Wilkes-Barre hazelton kind of vibe here but we we got the the boomtown boys from williamsport we've been playing them too yeah so, yep you know if you're kind of regional send us some stuff we'll get it on i got that track from john who is their their manager and you know some good things on the horizon for that band we're going to take a quick break now we'll be back in a flash so stick around the woodlands is celebrating 50 years do you believe it 50 years 
years. For two generations of the Kornfeld family, there's a pretty good chance that you or someone you know slept in one of their beds. Over those 50 years, most of you came out and partied with them on the deck for five day or inside the 25th hour or evolution nightclubs. For five decades, how many of you have dined in their legendary Left Bank Bistro or Time Restaurant? And in half of a century, thousands of you celebrated your first dance in the Grand Ballroom. For 50 years, the Woodlands has been reinventing itself, and they're not done yet. Now, they're proud to introduce the area's newest outdoor wedding venue, the Bridal Gardens, and the creation of their streamside apartments. The Woodlands wants to thank all of you who got them there and invite you to swing by for sushi, grab some pizza, listen to some live music, or just stop in for a cocktail. They're not slowing down. They promise. They're just getting started. Check them out at thewoodlandsresort.com. All right, we're back here on Music on the Menu on the River, hanging out with D.C. Taylor like I always am on Sunday nights. D.C., I think we talk about this. I, I, I know we do. Um, every year around this time, and it's just my... It's just my personality. It's just my respect. You know, this will be 42 years this week that we lost Elvis. 42 years. Wow. Yeah. And that's a kind of a major uh, anniversary because Elvis was 42 when he passed. Yeah. So now we're at a point where he's been longer. He's been gone longer than he's been. Than he was alive. Here. Yeah. Yeah. And so I'm sure that they'll be doing all the stuff that they always do down at uh, Graceland in Memphis this week with, with Elvis week. You know, sometimes they get... I, I don't know. There's 75,000 people one night at the vigil. Wow. You know, I mean, yeah. and, and so <laughs> I, I like to see that. I like to see that kind of respect. I'm a big fan of, uh, respecting the people that did things before. Yeah. And that laid the groundwork for what we can do now. Yep. We're sitting here in this beautiful studio in this beautiful building mm-hmm. with a poster hanging over my head and I'm looking at it right now and it's Arrow Smith. And it's Tom Petty, and it's Jimi Hendrix, and it's Freddie Mercury, and it's Robert Plant, and it's the Rolling Stones, and Paul McCartney, and Billy Joel, and ACDC. And this poster would not be here if it was not for Elvis Presley. Right. Yep. Period. That's it. And so um, I always like to give a shout out to the king uh, this time of year. And you know, kind of say, you know, if you're up there listening, Elvis, thanks, man. You changed everything, and you made all our lives better with rock and roll that day you walked into Sun Studio and, and came up with something pretty special. We're going to play a tune for you now from a band called Walking with Lions. This features Chad Zagalia from formerly of Breaking Benjamin. Uh, he's been doing great stuff since he left Breaking Benjamin. He went out with um, Thin Lizzy. Mm-hmm. He went out with Black Label Society. And, uh, you know, he's working with modern rock bands, doing lessons, doing session work. So mm-hmm. he's doing just fine. This is a track we got from him couple months ago we haven't played it in a while it's called ghosts my soul paralyzed by the spirit inside my ghost rises farther away
Just this close. 
Burden on Society featuring Glenn Skander with a song called How Can You Do This to Me? That's a song we just premiered a couple months ago for the first time here on the program. And before that, also new music from Walking with Lions, a song called Ghost. Playing a lot of songs the last couple of weeks, DC, that have all come to us in 2019, mm-hmm. late 2018. Yep. Uh, did, we did a couple of entire shows like that. So yeah. we really appreciate people sending us their music. Getting back to the Elvis thing, last year on the show, we were talking about it, and your favorite, is it your favorite song, Suspicious Minds, or is it is it a little less conversation? Because I know you got a little story about both. I think it was a little less conversation, yeah, yeah. You remember Suspicious Minds from when you were little, uh-huh. a little bit, but right. the, that's maybe your first time you heard Elvis? Yeah, I think so. Because yeah. that's still on, on radio sometimes. Sure. But, but that song was a remix for... An album that came out around 2002 or three. Oh, the uh, little less conversation. Yep. Yeah, they, they had a, a, the Beatles put out a record called One, uh-huh. and it went to number one. Yeah, and it was a great. You know, the Beatles had number one album in the country. This was like in 2002. At that point, they had been broken up for what would that be? 32 years, right? Yeah. You know, and they had the number one album in the country with yeah. with an album called One, right? You know, and I guess Elvis decided they're going to do the same thing. And and so they put a record out of all of his number one hits, and I think it went to number one. Or, yeah, or in some countries, yeah, it did, it did anyway. well. Yep. And that song was the new kind of remix. From yeah, it. a little less conversation. Yeah, a lot of uh, alternative and top forty stations were playing. A junk a guy named Junkie XL, Junkie XL uh, did a little uh, remix there, a little tribute to uh, to Elvis. Took his track and put a kind of a new beat behind it, and it yeah, was, it did a really nice job. It was good. It, I think it, I think it went to number one in England. Yeah. 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 Funny story. My my kids grew up in my house listening to Elvis because if you live with me, that's going to happen. Exactly. <laughs> and you know, so it's, you know, he's around sometimes I get in moods where he'll be playing him for a couple of weeks at a time. So they grew up with that. And my son, AJ, he's a little bit sometimes more the slow poke when we're getting ready to go somewhere. Yeah. He'll be and my daughter's ready to go. And this was about three years ago when they were really young. So she was probably nine at the time he was six and we were, I was trying to get them moving. We were going somewhere, and, and she just looked at AJ, and she goes, Come on, AJ, a little less conversation, a little more action. <laughs> That's great. Wow. Uh, love, love my it. children. That's love awesome. Love my children. This one's from Charles the Bear. It's called I Can't Deny. <laughs> I can't deny what I feel inside. All these thoughts I have in my mind You set me free On a boat to your shore You know I'll be there waiting I have in my 
by mind You know you set me free On a road to your shore Yes, I'll be there Chasing the Dog here on Music on the Menu on the River with a song called Carmelita. And before that, Charles Severa, great songwriter from Scranton, with a song called I Can't Deny. I haven't played Charles on the show for a while. I just felt like digging out some Charles Severa tonight. That's what's cool about uh, 
having all these records on file, DC. We just oh, yeah. crank them up anytime we feel like it. Got quite the, uh, quite the archive of uh, local and regional music in our uh, our library. We've got a lot of stuff here. And that, that song from uh, Chasing the Dog, I don't think I've probably played that song in probably 10 years. And the reason I, I've listened to, I was listening to some stuff the other day, and it's got like kind of that, it, it reminded me of Woodstock. Yeah. I, I don't know why. And yeah. this is the anniversary, we've talked about Elvis before. This is also the anniversary of Woodstock coming up. This yeah. Week, the 50th 50, anniversary. 50 years. And I know I've been harping on this on the show for all summer long, but please, if you want to celebrate the anniversary of Woodstock, drive 90 minutes up the road to Bethel Woods. Yep. Ringo Starr's up there one night. John Fogarty one night. Santana. Uh, Doobie Brothers. They're going to show the original Woodstock movie. I believe they're showing it in the field where the Woodstock happened, right by the monument. I saw all these headlines all summer long about the fiasco at Woodstock. It was canceled. It was moved. It was on. It was back on. It is canceled. It's finally, yeah, I know it was canceled, I guess, about uh, 10 days ago. They, yeah. or two weeks ago, they finally pulled the plug on it. Mm -hmm. Obviously, it's not happening because this is the anniversary this week. And Bethel Wood just quietly went about their business. They announced the show. I guess, do you see, they may not own the, the name. May, oh. I think that's what this is about. I think okay. the guy that founded Woodstock was the guy that was trying to promote the one that fell through. Okay. So he has the name. Yeah. So even though he can't do it at Bethel Woods, mm -hmm. I, mean, I don't know why he just didn't try to do it there in the first place. Right. He's a promoter. But, um, you know, maybe that's, a, maybe that's a Clear Channel, Live Nation thing. I don't know. Maybe, yeah. But, you know, who knows? I mean, the, but the bottom line is that Bethel Woods has quietly just gone about their business, noting the 50th anniversary of Woodstock at Woodstock, at Bethel Woods, where it happened with some bands that are very reflective of the event, including John Fogarty and Santana, who actually played the actual original. Yep. So that's the way to go. That's, and that's, that's my advice to you if you're looking to do something this week to, to note that monumental couple of days in music history. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be back in a flash. Let's stick around. The Woodlands is celebrating 50 years. Do you believe it? 50 years. For two generations of the Kornfeld family, there's a pretty good chance that you or someone you know slept in one of their beds. Over those 50 years, most of you came out and partied with them on the deck for five day or inside the 25th hour or evolution nightclubs. For five decades, how many of you have dined in their legendary Left Bank Bistro or Time Restaurant? And in half of a century, thousands of you celebrated your first dance in the Grand Ballroom. For 50 years the woodlands has been reinventing itself and they're not done yet now they're proud to introduce the area's newest outdoor wedding venue the bridal gardens and the creation of their streamside apartments the woodlands wants to thank all of you who got them there and invite you to swing by for sushi grab some pizza listen to some live music or just stop in for a cocktail they're not slowing down they promise they're just getting started check them out at the woodlandsresort.com all right, we're back here on Music on the Menu on the River. want to uh, give a shout-out here to Mohegan Sun. they got Powerty on the Patio coming up on Thursdays for a couple more weeks yet. I guess it's been a little bit of a longer series than last summer. So you got Bruce Springsteen tribute coming up uh, this Thursday on mm -hmm. the 15th. Yep. And then an Aerosmith tribute coming up on the 22nd, Draw the Line. Mm -hmm. Journey on the 29th of August, that's always huge I yep. mean, that's one of the biggest crowds of the year from what i from what i understand i think i've been here once for that over the years mm -hmm. and then bon jovi on september 5th which is a makeup as you told me because that was a rain out yeah it was rain out so 7800 fahrenheit the tribute to bon jovi september 5th to wrap up the season so there you go so if you're looking for some some fun cover bands you know we're all about the original vibe here but i like cover bands they're fun i go see them yeah. once in a while i don't have a snobby attitude i always say the philharmonic's a cover band Sure. And they're just exactly. covering Bach and Beethoven and Mozart instead yep. of, you know, Bon Jovi. But yeah. <laughs> same same idea. This guy here is really talented, Chris Ludzik. He's from uh, Scranton. Encyclopedic knowledge of rock and roll. I love getting into discussions with Chris on, on Facebook. We had one going recently about the Rolling Stones. Um, you know, he's just, uh, for a younger guy, he, he has a great grasp on, on, on the history of rock and roll. And I always enjoy, you know engaging with him in those conversations. This one's called Naive. Make your world. 
my tears that some mission What can we do What will it take to make them listen Hey Mike Doggerty here on Music on the Menu on the River, a song called How You Feel. Before that, Wayside with a song called Headlights. And before that, Chris Ludzik from the EP Another Last Stand with a song called Naive. This has been Music on the Menu. We're here every Sunday night playing your original music from some of NEPA's best bands. Great time doing it. Thanks, DC, for hanging in as always. Thank you. Good time. I'll leave you now as I do with the Badleys. This one's from up there down here. It's called Luther's Windows. We'll catch you next week. Nothing, a crystal, a picture, a dead body sage A dusty white curtain, the nose prints of a dog A shot glass collection from his still driving days Luther's bedroom, his side has an awful affair That's a stale, his old forgotten bread And a cage on the dresser, there's a parrot that talks Put a name over and over, is all it says Turn your back to the sun Smokes and stares at the ceiling for days. Turn your back to the sun. You see only shadows. Look beneath the stars. You see only night. Like a homesick sailor. Luther standing in the window. Watching the world float by. Electronic Bible, listening to the parade going by, and the bass drum is pounding, the trumpets are playing, and he's reading a verse of St. John. Trigger line seeps through the blind, Luther pulls down the shade until he makes up his mind. We'll turn your back to the sun